I am the fucking hardest hustler in the world. This is Savage Part 2. Don't tell me about shit. It's 2022 and I'm still a savage. Whatever I want, I get. Whatever I want, I fucking get. Everybody done seen the horrific 2016 leak video featuring Diddy and Cassie. Now, in case y'all still haven't, CNN leaked a video to prove that Cassie was telling the truth all along. Now, everybody's taking a step back and cutting ties with the whole Combs family. No, no, wave this oh, way. Shit. This way. Oh, oh, Jackie, stop being a coward. Walk up here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not walking another hundred feet. He doesn't want to walk there. Get in that way, fucker, and you're going in the dumpster dead. Tell me you have a show to do. <laughs> no, he's humble. He knows how to give it up. Chris Martin. White ass bitch. How can you get any worse? No, I haven't. I haven't. I can't speak. I know you have. So well, she made him bad. He's yeah. like super nice. Yeah. His dick is gonna be yeah. all hyped for him. He's like 50,000 pounds. You need to stay here all day. Now here's the thing, when Cassie went public with her claims in November 2023, the world was split in two. Now some people believed her and some didn't. Now it was the usual he said, she said whole situation. Nifty and, and especially with kids from the inner city, um, they, they are naturally and so, so they have it in their DNA, you know, and um, so an organization like this that can show them that they have it inside of them. You really gotta understand, the corporations actually need you guys, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, so, so you're closer to the pulse of, 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 of what is the best way to advertise than the, the, the major advertising companies. It's all about the product. And so I feel, I feel if you have a great product, then it's not a hard sell to, to a spokesperson or to your consumer. You ready to do this? Okay. Congratulations, I'm proud of all of y'all. Hey guys, right here, down the center. I'd like to present to you guys entrepreneurship. It's been at, um, oh God has blessed me to be an entrepreneur. And I've had a lot of support from my community. I'd like to present you with this check to help support future entrepreneurs for a quarter of a million dollars. Wow, come on. <laughs> this is the American dream, right? People talk about the American dream. No, this is, this is why you come to America. Uh, when I was 19, I came up with this saying, don't be afraid to close your eyes and dream, but then open your eyes and see. After you have your dream and you have your vision, you have to open your eyes and see and deal with the reality of what it's gonna to take for you to achieve that dream. And now the real work begins. I remember one on the Forbes list. You know, to be keeping it all the way real, you know, it, it is an honor, you know. I'm from Harlem, you know, I'm from you know, like any other inner city around the country. And to be a representative of my community and uh, being number one on that list, I, I take it as an honor and a, and a humbling thing. Um, but I also take it as a, a badge of responsibility as I've, as I've grown up. You know, having economic power enables you to help people. Um, enables you to, you know, give to good causes things like that. But yo, public opinion shifted after Cassie took a $30 million settlement the day after she went public. Now, some people claim that accepting hush money showed Cassie was only in it for the money. 
Now, some people think that Diddy's quick thinking was to keep Cassie from revealing too much information way too soon. There is no, he has to do that because no company wants to do business with somebody who, who is being accused, have allegations against them for sexual misconduct and deviant behavior. Nobody wants to do business with that. All the shareholders, it ain't nothing that he's giving up. They like, yo, listen, give me that. Take, they said, they did a ditty. Take that, take that. You understand? They are gonna take that from them. The shareholders is gonna say, yo, listen to me. We all gonna pull out. <laughs> no ditty. But we all gonna pull out our shares and everything if you don't give up what you have in the company. Did you see that video? Now, overall, Diddy's image improved just a little bit. Now, when the other accusers stepped forward, Diddy's lawyers simply claimed that they was inspired by the $30 million settlement. So was it really all just a cash grab? Any man that put his hands on the, his mother or disrespect his mother, a ice cube in hell wouldn't last on the way he feel about a damn woman. He'll quick to put his hands on a woman like that if he do his own mama. And you said that Kirk Burroughs, because I remember I did the interview with him, man, and he a good dude, man. He definitely don't come across like a liar. But you said that he told you personally that he seen Diddy smack his own mom. I could believe that. I could believe Kirk Burroughs. I, I, not, I can't, I could believe it. I believe Kirk Burroughs when he said that. Kirk has no reason to lie on Diddy when in fact he lied for Diddy and went to jail for Diddy. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say probably not, man. Cause like, look, this whole leak video done proved it. Ever since yeah. Black Santa been in charge, everything's been going smooth. I just delivered everybody's gifts. When you wake up in the morning, you'll be absolutely happy. And we just got back to headquarters. We got some Deleon tequila. Everybody take a shot. I am so sorry to tell you that Santa is black. And I'm gonna still make sure you keep your job, but you have to know that Santa's black now, okay, baby? Santa, you want some Deleon tequila? Oh, okay. Oh. A little milk and cookies. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm. This is a swimming pool. You like the swimming pool? Usually on Christmas Eve, we listen to Brian McKnight. To me, it's one of the best black, super black, real Negro Christmas albums ever made. So usually I deliver the gifts and I come in here, get a little massage, listen to some Anita Baker, you know, I have Mrs. Claus come in here and dance on some hills. I don't live in the North Pole. I live in the Caribbean. We live in a world where everybody ain't getting it. And that don't mean that I should stop you from showing you how to get it. This is Frank. This is my number one king elk. He only drink Deleon to kill him. The smoothest tequila in the world, owned by a black man. We still have some gifts that have to be delivered. Yeah, this is real. This is a boat. This is really a yacht. When I started coming out the same box, I was renting like the the one twenties. You know what I'm saying? Then I was leasing the one nineties. Then I was buying the two fifties. So we on the three twenty five. We scoping it out. The new headquarters. Yeah, we got the Kermit the Green. This is the Kermit the Green. Now, Cassie wasn't lying. And now prosecutors are looking to indict Diddy on federal charges. Nah, man, unfortunately, that 2016 video ain't enough to charge Diddy with domestic abuse. I know. But prosecutors claim that it's enough to move forward with a horde of other charges surrounding the music mogul. <laughs> We, 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 we.
got another special one. Hold on, ain't nothing like a mama's love. Mama, well, here comes mama my Combs twin. in the building, y'all. Here comes my twin. Fuck your bitches. You understand? This man has been the motivation for this entire fucking movement. Yes, sir. La, 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 la. You better relax, my nigga. You better relax, my nigga. <laughs> So that's where we're all at as far as the whole leak video is concerned. But what about the people who voiced public support for Diddy now? with federal investigators. Insiders told TMZ yesterday that she has and is she allowed to do that. But when it comes to criminal oh. investigations, uh, the NDA doesn't matter if it's a criminal situation. She is cooperating with federal investigators. That is crazy. You know what it is? It makes me hear all the songs different. Now I know we ain't going nowhere. It just feels weird because Diddy has so much energy and put so many people on. And who knew all this was coming? Afraid that, you know, all, I don't want to see anybody go to jail. But if he do, him and R. Kelly gonna have some crazy music but together. what if, so if there's people's lives that have really been affected and ruined i mean you know we got to think about those people too people are like oh I, you know i hope he's okay free him or whatever but now what's interesting is nick cannon uh that's your boy uh, uh say that you gotta say that different now it's a different oh, <laughs> yes that's that is my friend, friend. And, <laughs> and he had some things to say because when he was up here we talked to him about cassie versus diddy and this was way before all of this information came out you know he felt like he had to defend diddy because diddy looked out for him here's what he had to say when he was up here start to hear stuff you don't know how to feel mm -hmm. because like you know these people or you've seen right. it and i'm mean, like damn is that what was going on or back you know praying and hoping for the best but then at the same time when you know individuals it's like I don't agree with the behavior, but I care for the person. Think about all that Diddy has done for the culture. Here's what he had to say when he was asked about these comments. I find difficulty in it when I'm asked about people that I know about. I answered it as honestly as I knew how to answer it. I know these people. I have to almost do this dance. Of, just as much as I know Diddy, I know Cassie. He was saying, I'm praying for Cassie. So what about Puff? Like, I don't know how to feel about that. Now, Nick Cannon's been pretty quiet ever since the whole video was leaked. Y'all remember how he said that he felt like he had to support his friend? If they ain't on crack cocaine or cocoa or pink cocoa or any other kind of drugs that, that got their mind out of it, like a couple of his close friends is, they got to be shitting bricks. Prime example, he did, uh, I think that was an IG, Instagram post, and he said, I want all the people who are with me to come out. Sending a message to his celebrity friends and show people that you with me. Tell people that you with me. And you know he's going down, Cam. Don't you know he going down? How you know he coming down? Because there's only one individual that came out and spoke on his behalf. Right? Yep. And who was that? Shit, I don't know his name. I just seen it yesterday. Stevie J. 
Stevie. Oh, Stevie J, okay. <laughs> Stevie came out and spoke on his behalf. He's the only person that came out and spoke on his behalf. That shows you his ship is sinking. So you think that a lot of people aren't speaking up because they know they know they knew or you know they believed it? I I would be remiss if I go over here and say that a lot of people know, knew, and all that shit. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that they are protecting their own brand because it's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> they protecting their brand because they know it's a possibility that some weird, crazy things was going on that shouldn't have went on. So for them to protect their brand and protect their... Now, Stevie J is also taking a step back. I mean, we're talking about the only man who was willing to give interviews in support of his close friend. I mean, but let's be real. Ain't like Stevie J had anything else going for him anyway. Feeling good? Oh, you put that thing on the floor. So you see how we do it here on Saturday, just as what it's just about to be. Give me a look at, look at my mantras real quick. Team love. Stories like a motherfucker. Rock Nation Rush, Grammy 2017. Slipping, H-Class Diamonds. Smoking cigars in Bogota. Very good. Jay-Z had already quietly distanced himself from Diddy, probably because his PR team told him to do so. Another twist, Janet Jackson quietly unfollowed Diddy. Now she'd actually done so when the allegation first surfaced. Hey, you gonna, you gonna make me, okay, I'm telling you right now, when I wanna work with Diddy, I'm gonna physically put my hands on somebody for the ratings. <laughs> because he's not gonna outdo me. I'm gonna uh, physically, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Central, right Central Book. The yeah, 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 I'm used to it, I know what it is, but you get your hand on my pocket, get off my channel, boy. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love this show though. You I got the brand new show, have you, you seen it? it? Yeah, I love this show. Uh, Donald Trump seen it as well. Yeah, yeah. Donald Trump saying my my show is a knockoff of The Apprentice. I said, what's the matter with Donald? <laughs> hey, yo, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, he got a little age on him. You can I see mean, to me, be honest, it felt it felt a little. I want to work for Diddy inspired to me though. Yeah, but you know what? You know this. This is what I gotta do it, right? And these are my friends. But the guys that really don't like me, that's who you need to talk to. Now, the only reason why these celebrities aren't publicly speaking out against Diddy is because he's got a lot of dirt on them all, allegedly. Now, Lil Rod, one of the accusers, claimed that Diddy had every room in his mansion bugged. Military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residence. So this is a criminal defense attorney um, who is going to handle this federal case for all intents and purposes. And so we think. Um, so with that first line, do you agree or disagree with that? Because you kind of thought maybe it was a little overboard yesterday, especially the armored vehicles, even though. Potentially there's a, a past or a history of some violent behavior or weapons, drugs, things like that. Do you think it was a gross overuse of military level force? Uh, I guess how you define gross. Um, hmm. I, I think that they, they did uh, use quite a bit. Uh, I thought the armored vehicle was a, a nice touch. Um, but the, the fact that they had a lot of people there with big guns, that doesn't offend me. Uh, you know, that is something they, they probably needed to do to make sure they had an overwhelming show of force so that no one would give them any trouble. Um, but this first sentence is just a red herring, uh, has nothing to do with guilt or innocence. Uh, it, it's just to get people's attention away from really what's going on 
and to try to blame the government for doing something improper. And I think it also has a little tinge of they're just going on this witch hunt and they're going to try to make P. Diddy look bad. And, you know, this is all just they targeted him and they're going after him because he's a celebrity um, because, you know, maybe people have said stuff about him. But in reality, they just want to get him because he's a big fish to me. And, and they want it all to play out in the court of public opinion. I think there's a lot of a lot of hints right. of that in these comments. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, it's the same thing I would have done. Uh, for, frankly, yeah. if, if I represented P. Diddy, I would have done the same thing in that first sentence. I would have tried to put the attention uh, on the uh, government misconduct uh, and away from my client. Which means that there's video evidence that these celebs that did these infamous freak offs. And that's something that they ain't never want the public to see. Now, apparently, since the mansion raids and the feds taking over surveillance equipment from Diddy's mansions, a lot of celebrities are cooperating with the investigators to bring Diddy down, too. Diddy, the new collection is great. You could call me Sean, Harold. Okay, Sean. Matter of fact, you could call me Sean John. Sean John, hip-hop mogul, movie star, yeah. designer. Don't stop now, baby. It's like there's a million of you. <laughs> What'd you say? Just like there's a million of you. Guys, he's on us. Execute Diddy Dash. Only one star can bring all these stars together. That's the magic of Macy's. Now, besides public figures, brands have also started cutting ties with a music mogul. Now, Diddy stepped down as a founding member of Revolt TV after Cassie made her accusations public. Now, Macy's also cut ties with Diddy. Welcome to Empowered Global, a new marketplace launching today for black businesses and customers worldwide. We want to elevate the black economy by creating opportunities for black entrepreneurs to build and scale successful businesses. It means us understanding the power of our dollar and keeping that money circulating in our communities. We were inspired by what can be built when we support each other and invest in our communities. Empowered Global will be the biggest black-owned marketplace where customers can discover products exclusively created by Empower Global, Peloton, and a list of other ventures he either founded or was a huge part of, too. Yeah, man, looking like this is the end of Sean P. Diddy Combs.